Hey friends, it's Jessica with DIY by Faith. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys here today in my home. I'm trying my best to make sure that you can see everything on the table. Um, and I'm sure hoping that you can see me as well and that my head is not cut off. It is so difficult when you are doing this on your phone and you don't have a professional camera or anything like that. But you guys, I am back with you to do a Valentine gift DIY. So I believe I have five DIYs for you today and a couple other ideas as we go along the way. Um, and you'll be able to see that in my intro. So if you go back, you'll see some of the, um, the footage of the pictures that I took of the things that we're gonna create today. But we have some fun and creative things to do that I am sure will not be on any other channel. Um, at least I hope not. So I am really excited to show you guys today. So the first thing that we're gonna make is this really cute lollipop. That's what it looks like. See how it's got like the little stick on it. Um, and this one's a little panda bear. I had already wrapped it up and it's got this cute little box of chocolates in there. And I have this little chalkboard heart on it that says the name to who it is going to. I absolutely adore these. Okay, so let me show you exactly how to make these, okay? I'm gonna set that one to the side. Now, Dollar Tree, let me not drop anything. Okay, so Dollar Tree has um, the uh, panda that I just showed you and they have so many things they have a sloth they have this adorable little unicorn this is one of my favorites and they're just a little wood cutout as you can see um, and it does have a little hanger but what I'm gonna do um, first let me rip that paper off there we don't need that hanger um, what I'm doing is I'm creating these for my friend's daughter. So what I did was uh, Dollar Tree also has all the little candy hearts right now. And I got this one that says Happy Valentine's Day. And if you look closely, it is almost the same exact colors as the unicorn. So what I did was right here where the unicorn is holding the heart, I'm going to take that and I am going to glue that down. Okay. Um, you can use something sticky instead of glue if you would prefer like the little sticky tabs to hold this on. I'm not 100% sure whether or not that's going to continue to stick. So I am using um, a low heat today. That way it can come off and they would be able to reuse this sign. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue on our box of chocolates. So just put your glue and make sure that you're putting enough on there. And then you're just gonna take your box of chocolates and put it on there. So essentially what this is looking like is a little wood uh, cutout is holding a heart of chocolates. And I just thought that this would be such a cute idea. Okay, so while that's cooling, um, the next thing we're gonna do is I picked up these straws. These are the balloon straws. Let me get the, the package for you. Um, these that you can get at the Dollar Tree. You get 12 of them. Um, they do come with the little um, round parts at the bottom to hook the balloon if you decide to use it for balloons. But I'm using this just to make it look like a cute little lollipop. So as soon as you have this, and it's all glued down, see how it looks like they're holding the heart? So cute. We're just gonna flip it over on our table and we're gonna measure this. So I'm thinking that I want it about half and half. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I am going to glue this stick down in the very center. Now that I've measured, I'm gonna glue it down in the very center all the way down. And then I'm gonna let that cool. Okay, now I did switch this to high heat to put the stick on because you wanna make sure that it has a very, very strong hold. And then you're just gonna hold that down while that's cooling. High heat takes a little bit longer, I would say about 30 seconds just to make sure it'll turn from clear to like a whitish color, uh, but you just wanna make sure that you have a good hold on this. Okay. And you guys, that is all for this project. Excuse, <laughs> look at the little, the little hanging down there. So now we have this cute little lollipop and that is all that you have to do for this, you guys. And then I just wrapped it up and I'll show you guys the finished um, product. Let me stick this one down here. This is the finished product right here when it's all wrapped up. I did get the two for a dollar of the little um, cellophane wrap. Um, and then I used these beautiful hearts. Let me show you. Um, from the crafter square section. They do have little twine hangers. And then I just wrote the name on there with one of the white metallic chalk markers. Okay, I hope you guys can see all this. I feel like I'm so far away and it's hard to see. 
I don't know how other DIYers do this, but you know what? We're just gonna have fun while we're doing it. <laughs> okay, so for another gift, let's just throw it all down. <laughs> for another gift, I wanna show you something that I made for my husband, and I think this is such a fun idea, you guys. Okay, so I wanted a date night jar. My husband and I, we go on dates sometimes, but you know what, we have six kids. It's something that we need to do 100%, but we don't always know what to do. It's always the same thing. We may go like out to a store or out to eat, and we wanna make sure that we're doing more than just that sometimes, you know? So I made this fun date night jar. And as you can see, I did use the glass jar that the Dollar Tree has been holding that has the red and black buffalo check. So, and the twine at the top. I didn't do anything to this jar other than add another one of those Crafter Square hearts that come with five in there. Um, so I only needed one pack to do all of the projects that I had to do. And I wrote his name on it. Then what I did was in the Crafter Square, they also sell um, these craft sticks. And I'll go ahead and show you, these are the thicker sticks. They're not the skinny ones, like the popsicle sticks. This is a thicker one, okay? And I use these to write fun little um, date night things on here. So let's see, like we have one that says, um, do a puzzle together and watch the sunset. And as you can see, I had a couple of different hearts. I also have some pink ones. These are just the felt hearts. Um, that the Dollar Tree sells and I just put them right on the top of the sticks um, and then this one says arcade so you guys that's super fun right so some of these are dates that you can do out some are free um, some are in the house you just never know what you're going to get but a lot of these things are things that my husband likes these are not just generic type of things these are things that my husband loves like playing video games that's not my thing but it's his and that may be something he wants to do so all you have to do is write down some of your husband or your boyfriend's favorite things and have this date night jar so on fridays or whenever you get a date night go ahead and just have him pick one out and the sky's the limit you guys and how much fun could you have doing this i love this idea and i cannot wait to give it to him okay so let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I wanna do first? Let's just go ahead and do this one because this one is a really, really easy one. Okay, so Dollar Tree has, let's get it, this adorable little bucket right here. Okay, and it, I showed it in one of my hauls. It does have a, a rubber around the lid, so it has a tight hold. And it's just like this little pail and you can put cookies in here. This has X's and O's and hearts on it. It's a dark pink. And I also picked up a light pink version of that as you can see, and I put little heart marshmallows in there. The Dollar Tree sells the heart marshmallows. So that's all I did. All I did for this is put some heart marshmallows in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I found this adorable little gnome and it has the same colors. And I'm just going to set it right on the top like this, okay? And then I have some of the Nestle hot chocolate and it is in red, super cute and great for Valentine's Day. And I'm just going to attach this to the back right where the handle is. So I'll pull the handle down around it. You'll see in a minute. So in the back, it'll look like this. It's not something they can see, but there's gonna be cellophane wrap around it. So when they open up, they got their hot chocolate and they have their marshmallows with a cute little gnome on the top and the cellophane wrap will hold the gnome in place. That way we don't have to glue it and they can use it. So super easy and fun, great for friends and very, very cheap. Okay. So let's see what's next. Another easy idea. I am sorry, this is so difficult. Okay, so another easy idea is these wooden hearts. Now these wooden hearts come, they have a ton of different ones at the Dollar Tree, different colors, um, different sayings, but these are pretty big. Um, and they have this little plastic piece to cover the flowers to keep them from, um, I guess, getting broken off but this is a hanger, so you can see, super cute. It's nice the way it is, but I wanna be able to use this as a gift for my husband as well. I'm trying to do this kind of like romantic kind of thing this Valentine's Day. We're really not um, like that anymore. And you know, like for Valentine's Day, it's kind of like, we'll just get the kids something and not each other, and it's really sad. Um, so I wanna be able to um, give it to my husband too. So. What I did was I got these adorable, let me take them out of here so you can see it. Look at these little clips, you guys. These are from the Crafter Square. This has like the little, I think it's a, what is it, a llama or a, 
I don't know, I'm so bad with these things. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're going to take that off. It doesn't really match the decor, uh, but I want to use the, um, the little clip. And the clip is um, the correct size. I didn't want one of the big clips, you know, for hanging clothes and things like that. But the side that we take this off of, you can see, I'll show you in a minute, you can tell that it had something stuck to it and it's not too pretty. So what we're gonna do is use that as the back. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of that hot glue, put it on the back of there, and we're just going to pop it onto our frame. You can do that right in the center. And then we're just gonna let that dry for a moment. Then what I did, you guys, you have to see this cute little picture, okay? I'm gonna get closer so you can see it, okay? But this is me and my husband. Are we not the cutest? I can know it's kind of hard to see because of the light, but this is when um, we had really first met when we first started dating our first year and we were babies. We were so tiny. Look at us. I just love this picture of us. Um, this was obviously before multiple children, <laughs> but I love this picture of us. And we had it in a frame around our house and I was so sad because the frame fell and broke and so I wanted to be able to use this photo and to give it back to him because this is something that's so special to us so in order to make this into a gift I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pop that little picture in there and now I have a cute little gift now what I'm probably gonna do too because um, I didn't notice it was gonna do this because the picture is larger um, the love that's on the bottom right here will probably just let's see yeah, you can pop it off without messing up the tape. And I'm probably going to move the love over here to go across the photo. But there's another easy and cheap idea of something that you can give to a loved one or even to like your mother or something like that. If there's a picture that you have of, um, of your mom and you or something like that, I think that that's just such a cute idea for going down memory lane. Love that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the biggest one that I have today. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we're making. So this right here um, is a candy bouquet, I guess that you can say. And I'm gonna try to get this close enough so that you can see. This is one that I made. Um, we are gonna make a different one today, but this is very, very similar. And as you can see, I have the little marshmallows that I had in the canister before um, that I used out of that bag. I took three and put them on a little skewer, put some, some um, not saran wrap, but the little, um, what is that? A little shrink wrap or whatever. And I tied it tight and put that on there. I got the little gnome in the front and just some other fun candies that are peeking out around there. And this is what we're gonna be making today. So this is how we're gonna do that. Hopefully I'm not breaking anything because these are for friends and family and I don't wanna wreck it. So what you're gonna need from the Dollar Tree, let's set these to the side, is Oh my gosh, you guys are probably going to be like, what on earth is she doing? I'll clean it up later. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I just want to make sure to show you guys this stuff. So here's what you can get at the Dollar Tree. Here's another one, just like I picked up the gnome, but this is a cute little red and white teddy bear. Um, I use some floral foam in the bottom um, just to make sure that everything stays to where it needs to for when I add the sticks. I got some red and white of this little crinkle paper. They also have it in pink which you saw that I used in the last one. Um, I do use the balloon straws, um, or you can use skewer sticks, which I will show you in a minute, that are over here. You know what, this is so funny. I don't know who decided to put it like this. Oh wait, it was me. <laughs> It's so funny. You know, you try it, you think that it's gonna be so much easier. Like, I'm gonna set it up like this and this is gonna be perfect. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work out so much like that, you guys. It's a lot harder to do these videos than you think. Okay, so here we go. Skewer sticks. You get these um, at the kitchen section inside the Dollar Tree. They do have a sharper edge and then a rounded edge on the other side. So we'll be using these today. Um, they also stepped it up with their candy. You guys, I found this um, Junior Mints. They're they look like hearts and they're red and white on the inside um, I'll probably be using these I found some assorted truffles yum yum and then I also have some of the cherry airheads and the last one I used all the strawberries so we're gonna use cherry in this one because I want to stay with like that red and white theme 
Um, and then I also have all of these adorable little Palmer double crisp chocolate hearts right here. Super cute. Okay, so let's get to crafting this. Okay, so it's going to be a lot harder because obviously whenever I made this before, I had a little bit of extra time. I had preparation. I had a lot more space. This is crazy. So this is the cute little box that, um, that I picked out. You also can do a regular vase. So for instance, um, Dollar Tree has these beautiful vases. I use these in like just decorating my house everywhere because these look very high end. Um, I just love this one. Um, and if you do, you can always wrap twine around the top to make a bow. Um, I also found this black and white buffalo check that I thought would just be so cute as a bow across the top and to make some of these a little bit smaller so you can make more of them, but they look so high end. And then you just put a little bit of shrink wrap over it and all of your friends would just go, I mean, just love it. Okay, so the first things first is that I always normally use um, grocery bags down on the bottom because this is a lot of space. We don't need all this space. But of course, like I said, I don't know how to edit and I totally forgot the grocery bags. So we're just gonna go ahead and do our thing. So what I'm gonna do though, is I do have to have some floral foam that is going to have to um, sit in the very bottom in here because I'm going to need to push my sticks through something. So I am gluing that floral foam down there, as you can see, and all the glue comes off. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we are gonna have some of this shred. Um, a lot of times though, when you add the shred first, it's hard to stick the sticks in there without pushing it down. So what I'm going to show you, it's going to look a little wonky at first, but that's okay. Um, because we need to make sure that we are positioning our candies where we want them. At the end, we are going to be sticking tissue paper and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So what that's going to do, um, is make sure that we fill in any of those spots that are like bald. Okay. So first things first everything that we add in here we glue on okay so for instance if i want to have these junior mints i'm gonna have these sticking out um, i do want my stick to be attached to this um, now the sticks are a little bit thinner and the other one i use the balloon sticks those are a lot thicker but you have to cut those down that's the only thing i didn't like about it because they were so large uh, but they are thicker and they hold better so uh, what i'm gonna do there's no space okay is glue this down i'll show you guys as soon as i'm done doing that glue this down to the box and let that dry okay and as that's sitting there you can go ahead and do all of your other candy so of course i think that i'm going to also want to put my truffles if i can fit them in there correctly and make sure that you're always leaving the pointed side down because that's the side that is going to go inside the floral foam so Go ahead and glue this one down. You guys, please pray for my husband. He is in there like hacking his head off. Um, we went to the hospital the other day. It's a code red, so I wasn't able to stay with him. Um, but they tested him for COVID twice and he was negative both times. Um, but he sounds horrible. They didn't check him for flu. I think flu is also going around again. Um, but he just sounds so pitiful. And he's had a fever that is on and off, on and off. And I mean, thankfully, none of us have gotten sick inside the house. Um, but it just breaks my heart to hear him sick in there. And he hasn't been able to come out at all. The kids are just absolutely sad that they haven't seen their daddy. Um, and, and it's been like five days, you guys. So I mean, this is a pretty tough thing that he's going through. But it'll be okay. It will be okay. So next things um, I wanted to show you is we are also going to have some of these peeking out as well. Okay, so um, we're going to use two of these on each stick. So that way you don't see the stick because these are shorter candies. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Okay. 
Okay. I know this is a little bit early. You guys are probably thinking, man, why is she already making all of these gifts? Well, I'm telling you now. So the way that the Dollar Tree works is it comes in waves when it has all of its holiday and seasonal things in. Okay. Um, so right after Christmas is when all of this candy came out. And unfortunately, um, Dollar Tree, if you don't get it right away, you're not going to get it. Like that's just... That's the sad story of it. Um, but I um, I went ahead and I purchased all of it because I just wanted to make sure that I had it on hand for you guys to be able to show you these projects. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick that one on now. And I'm really excited to hand these to my friends too because they know that I am always so crafty. Um, I make things like this every single year for them, but this particular time I'm doing it a little bit different. So I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead with just a couple things that I have because this is gonna take forever if you watch me to do this um, for everything. So the first thing we're gonna do is probably take the largest candy first. Um, so this is the front part of our bucket. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna place it as much in the center as you can and just poke it right through okay now you see how it's kind of like bowing to the side that's okay for right now because we're going to be stuffing stuff in it that is going to completely take that away then we're going to take this one and i think i just want to place this one right here and that's kind of see okay so kind of catty corner and then what i'm going to do is i want to stick some of these well i wanted to kind of see it it's a little Okay, let's put it back here. Okay, so we're gonna stick some of those in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna make the hearts. So you'll see in a minute, I just go ahead and I glue the three hearts on it just like I showed you before. And then always in the first part too, we're gonna take the stuffed animal, whatever one you chose, and we're just gonna stick that in the very front and just kind of pop it in, you see that? Okay, and this is where the bags also come into place because they hold our little stuffed animal up. And then we're just gonna take all this little shred and we're just going to pop it in here. So let's just go ahead and take him out for a minute. So you can see, I am gonna put a lot more in this for candy, you guys, but for sake of time, we just don't have the time for me to show you exactly everything and how to put each of them in. So you just use your best judgment on what you think looks best. And then we're gonna pop them, this little bear in and we're just gonna have a little bit of this stuff hanging out, okay? Uh, just like that. And then you're just gonna move these around until you like the way that they look, okay? Um, and then after that, you are gonna take tissue paper. So Dollar Tree has the heart tissue paper, uh, pink and red. Um, this is the one that I chose. It does have some regular pink and it has some of the hearts. So what I did with the other one is wherever I have bald spots when I'm done putting in my candy, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my paper just like this. And I'm just going to stuff it in the sides and in the back of the places that have bald spots, okay? And it's just gonna look just like that. And then you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around, okay? So when you get done with that, you will have a finished project that looks like this, okay? So you can see all of my candies in there, the three hearts I told you I glued onto the stick, I put the little gnome in there, you can see the paper hanging out, and it's just super, super adorable. I'm sorry for the sake of time that I couldn't show you how to do it, but you guys would be here forever. And as much as I love speaking to you, I know that you guys have things to do too. So I really, really thank you. And I'll come over here so you can see me a little bit better. I thank you guys so much for everything that you do for my channel. I'm really excited. I hope that you guys love these DIYs and you can do them for all of your friends and family. Let me know what yours turns out like and I'm excited to see. Y'all have a great day. Bye.